All of our interest rates have broken out of this weekly basing here. They've broken out and that was also not a surprise. However, what is surprising me is that our interest rates are just flying through the roof and our equity indices are just going to the upside as well. I'm getting mixed messages from the market right now. And whenever I'm getting these kind of mixed messages, my spidey senses go off like crazy, right? So they're, they go off right now. Something's not right in this market. If you look at a 20 year window, they're negatively correlated with our equity indices. So very rarely you see those two markets going the same direction. Maybe they go the same direction. Sometimes they're off every now and then, but not by too much. Here, it's like they're completely either positively correlated or not correlated at all. I'm getting mixed messages. My spidey senses are going off at the moment. So something is going on in the market, which is, which is also why I'm thinking, hey, maybe it's not the best time to be buying the equity indices right now. If we do, then we have to do it really conservatively. So our plan for these interest rates have been for a long time to buy. We have now formed new daily demand where I'd really like to wait for price to come down here because this is going to give us a nice profit margin to the upside. And it's not sort of in the middle of nowhere of this yeah, big momentum move and we'd be covered by weekly and monthly charts. So ideally what I want to see, so we will have monthly demand right here. So that's our, that would be new monthly demand. So what can we expect? Trend is nothing else but price moving between higher time frame demand and higher time frame supply. So fresh demand and then price is going to look for new fresh supply up here and it's probably going to make its way up like that. So I really want to buy interest rates. So if, if prices is approaching the 114.27 area, let's just check 114.27, which is right in here. Okay. So if we trade this area, then we have bigger, bigger brother, smaller brother, principle in place. We even trade with the monthly, we trade the lower time frame with the power of our big, big monthly brother. And this should give us a real wealth opportunity as well as income opportunity. I'm really seeing this market rolling over. And usually you see this market rolling over before you see the equity indices roll over. Okay. So for instance, 2008, 2009, you can see what happened in the crash of 2008, 2009. Interest rates were shooting to the upside. What happened from 2000 onwards, where we had also had a crash, also interest rates were going to the upside. Now, what happened when the economy was doing well? Interest rates are going down. Now economy is doing well, has been going, doing well for quite some time. Interest rates are going down. Okay. So hugely inverse correlated markets. The fact, the fact that we see interest rates pushing to the upside for the past one, two, three, four, five months for the past half a year, creating new high quality monthly demand is really showing me to be long in this market and to be short the equity indices. This US five year treasury note trade setup was presented by our mentors in our futures live trading class back in March 2019. During this live trading session, we identified a clear supply and demand imbalance. Our mentors went through a full analysis of the product and set all trading parameters needed to enter the trade. Our students are taught to buy, go long once price comes back into the demand zone. This includes a stop, entry and target, SET, set. Once our mentors set the trade together with our students, their work is done. 
our students can now forget the trade and let it play out without spending more time in front of the screen. This predefined set and forget and get a live trading approach helps our students to master the supply and demand trading skill set without sacrificing their lifestyle. Now, let us look at the result to date. This trade is still running to date. So far, it achieved a maximum risk to reward ratio of 1 to 15. This means that for every dollar you risk, you make $15 of pure profits. Let us put this into perspective for our proactive investors. If you were to risk $100, you would walk away with $1,500 US dollars of pure profits. For our more advanced traders who are proven consistently profitable, by risking, for example, $1,000, they would make $15,000 of pure profit. This was a monthly income trade setup. These are long-term wealth trades we hold for months and sometimes even years.